Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to learn how to create go high level contact from Pabli form builder submission. Now we want that whenever a new form is submitted in our Pabli form builder application, automatically a new contact should be created in our go high level account with those same details. And for that we want that this process should be automated. And how we are going to do that for that we have to integrate both these applications and because they do not have any kind of native integration between them therefore we are going to take the help of Pabli Connect here. So what we are going to do we have Pabli form builder application in our trigger and we have go high level in our action. So we are going to set up an integration between both these applications by using Pabli Connect. Now to learn this full automation step by step let me take you all to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn that whenever a form will be submitted in our Pabli form builder application like this with the details, automatically a new contact will be created in our go high level CRM application with the same details like this. So let's start the process. So first of all, we have to type pabli.com in our browser So here. And as we do that, we are on the home page of Pabli Connect. Now we have two options, sign up for free and sign in. So if you are a new user, you can easily click on sign up for free button and create your free new account in just two minutes. And it will also provide you free task. Now, because I am already an existing user, therefore I am clicking on sign in. We have to click on access now. And as we do that, we are on the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here we can find all our workflows which we have created and also and also a uh, task allotted, task consumed, task remaining and free task consumed from here. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on create workflow button given on right hand corner. And as we do that, it is asking us to provide it a name. So let's give it a suitable name according to our workflow. So I am giving it a name as Pabli form builder to go high level. Now we'll click on create and as we do that, it has provided us with the workflow which contains trigger and action. So trigger and actions are basically the principles on which the entire workflow of any automation runs. And here in any workflow, we can have one trigger, but we can have multiple actions. So the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with the trigger first. Now we have to choose a trigger application. Here in this workflow, we are going to have a trigger application as Pabli Form Builder. So we'll click on it and now we have to select trigger event. So a trigger event will be new form submission. Now here we can find one webhook URL and also some instructions which we have to follow in order to connect our Pabli form builder application with Pabli Connect. Now what we are supposed to do, we have to copy this from here and after that we have to go on Pabli form builder. So let's go. So this is the dashboard of Pabli form builder. Now what we are supposed to do, we have to click on integrations given on the left hand side and now we have to click on create webhook. And as we do that, we have to simply paste our webhook URL, which we have copied from Pabli Connect. And we have to click on save. And now it is showing waiting for webhook response. That means we have to do a test submission now. Now what we are supposed to do, we have to do a test submission by submitting the form which we have created. So I have already created one form for this particular workflow. Let, let me show you that. So here we can find that I have created one form which contains the details such as first name, last name and email. I have kept it simple, but you can very easily add or delete any of the field which you want according to your preference. Now let me show you how you can do that. So we have to go on Pabli form builder and from the dashboard, you can see this is the form which I have created. So we have to click on three dots given over here and then we have to click on edit and from here, you can see that we can very easily create or delete any of the field which we want. So, so we can clone our fields from here and also delete our field from here. So it's very easy to create a form with Pabli Form Builder. Now what we are supposed to do after that, we have to click on save and share to copy the form link in order to copy the form link. So we'll copy it from here and then we can easily paste it over here. See, and we can find the same form which we have created. Now let's fill this form in order to capture the webhook response in Pabli Connect. So let me give first name, let's say test lead and the email. So here, so we'll have to click on submit now. And now we have to go on Pabli Connect to check whether we have received the response there or not. 
So yes, we can see that we have received the response with the same details, first name, last name and the email. So let's move on to the action step. So what will be our action here? Now our action step will be to add a new contact to create a new contact in our Go High Level CRM like this. So let's start. For that, we have to select our action application, which is lead connector. Click on it. And then we have to select our action event, which is create contact. Click on connect and it is asking us two options, add new connection or select existing one. So we'll click on add new connection. Now we have to click on connect with lead connector V2. Now we have to select our account. So let me select one. And, and you can see because I have already logged in to my go high level CRM account. Therefore, it has automatically connected with Fably Connect. So let's move further. Now we have to fill these details one by one. So instead of doing it manually, we are going to map the data so that automatically and with this, what will happen whenever a new data will be entered through form submission, let's say different first name, different last name or different email, automatically that data will also be captured by Pabli Connect without any manual process. So let's start mapping the details one by one. Let's start with first name. So we have to map our first name from Pabli form builder application from the form submitted in it. So click on it. Now we have to select our first name, which is this. In the same way, we have to map our last name also. And at last, we have to map our email. Now, because I have now we can ignore some of these fields because we have not entered them in our form. So because I have not used phone number in my form. So I am ignoring this field also. You can definitely enter your fields according to your form submission. Now, let me add city here manually because we have not entered that in our form. Let's say Nepal, the state, country and the postal code. And now we have to click on save and send test request and we can find that our status is success. Now we have to simply check on our go high level account whether we have received this response in the form of a new contact or not. So let's go. So we have to go on our contact section from the left hand side. And here we can find that a new contact is created with the same details which we have entered in our form. So that means our workflow is successful over here. Now let's summarize what we have done in this workflow. So we have taken Pabli form builder in our trigger and we have taken lead connector that that means go high level CRM in our action. So what we have done in this workflow. So we have created one form in Pabli form builder applications and by using the webhook we have connected that particular form. After that, we have submitted a test response in order to capture the webhook response in our Pabli Connect. And after that, we in our action step, we have taken our action event as create contact. And after that, according to the details which we have entered in the form, we have mapped the details instead of doing it manually. And then we have simply clicked on save and send test request. And we can find that we have got a positive response in the form of a new contact which we wanted to create in our Go High Level CRM. So this was the full workflow and these were the steps which we are supposed to follow in order to connect our Pabli Form Builder application with Go High Level CRM. I hope this workflow helped you. And if you have any doubt or query regarding this particular workflow, you can definitely write them in comment section. And this was it in this video. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can easily email us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can easily reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you are having any pricing related issue with Pabli Connect, you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.